On the streets of Edinburgh and Glasgow, the Scottish saltire flag has flown alongside the Catalan colours in recent weeks as pro-independence supporters offer solidarity from the far corners of Europe. Whether it's the Basque Country, Catalonia, Scotland and then going elsewhere to Palestine, to Kurdistan, they all have the right to exist as nations. Scotland held an independence referendum in 2014 and voted narrowly to stay in the United Kingdom. That vote was held with the approval of the British government. Spain's government should have taken lessons, says Scottish independence campaigner Chris Banbury, author of a forthcoming book on Catalonian independence. The question has to be, if Rajoy had done that, would he have won the referendum? And there's a considerable body of opinion that suggests he would have done. And every time that the Spanish state does intervene in a very heavy-handed way, it drives another tranche of people into that to make that conclusion and support independence. <laughs> Others say Scotland's experience should have taught Catalonia a lesson. If Scotland had voted for independence, we know that Britain would have allowed it to go its own way. Um, but Spain said absolutely no way, we're not even going to give that vote. And what we've actually seen is just the international community has rallied behind Spain and said, look, we're not going to upset these rules. Breakaway movements across Europe are eyeing Catalonia's fate. Two of Italy's richest regions voted for more autonomy from Rome in referenda last month. In Belgium, tensions between the Flemish-speaking North and French-speaking South threaten national unity. A lot of movements will at first have been rather jubilant about what Catalonia was do doing, but I think what we've seen happen since then um, will be leaving a lot of them very disheartened. You know, they, they can press for independence, but unless they can get the support of the international community, it's just not going to happen. The European Union has sided firmly with Madrid. Critics argue history shows the bloc should be more sympathetic to populations who seek self-rule. The EU can look back in 1989 and say when the Soviet Union collapsed, actually the Baltic states and other countries got their independence peacefully. Both Catalonia and Scotland have pinned their viability as independent states on membership of the European Union, misguidedly, argues Kalinzi. The European Union isn't empowered to recognise states. Um, it's the member states of the European Union that do that. Uh, apart from anything else, Spain would veto it and you need to have unanimous support to join the European Union. Added to that, analysts say the EU is seeking to avoid further splintering, just as the bloc battles to overcome Brexit and the migrant crisis. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.